<laughs> yeah, Maria. With Maria, it's like, it's great. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, who loves the cold in the room? In this room? Yay! The cold lovers. Yay! Mm -hmm. The foils don't trust us. Are you crazy people? No, no, I didn't ask you that. I just asked who loves the cold. I didn't say who loves the cold. <laughs> 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 no way. <laughs> like, it was so nice when you walked in this room. Oh, my God. Like, oh, finally comfortable in here. I don't know, somebody yeah, said it's fine there. It's amazing what a degree. I know. Yeah, hey, what's what? happening with that? Because there's certain parts of the day where it goes up to like 76. And like. <laughs> Is that you on your phone? Doing that? It's trying to make you all feel like. What? Can you do that? You're messing with this? Can you not do that? Because it's. No, no, I don't touch. I don't. Who's that? 76. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. And since my honeymoon, I don't mess with the AC. <laughs> I locked the ACs a week before I went away last year. And I got a text from Nikki at the promenade. Can you make it a little cooler in here while we were on honeymoon on the beach? From wherever we were out. <laughs> yeah, because that's when I put the stupid controls on there to like block everything out. Yeah. So I don't mess with that anymore. Like, I got <laughs> You two can fight about it. <laughs> Okay, good morning. Hi, good morning. thank you for coming in. And be, everybody's working today, so nobody's coming in on their day off today. Oh, she's in black, though. So she's <laughs> yeah. That's all for Christian Fravio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Rebecca visiting from the north side. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, uh, some of the things happening. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like all, all the last three days, I think, right? The last three days, stuff, stuff going on. Um, and then the last six months. So before I, I came this morning, I just was double checking it because I wanted to see the amount. The number of new clients, new to the, this salon in the last six months, the first six months of the year, was 250, or, sorry, 230 people more than last year. All right. New. Awesome. Brand new. That is a company change. record. Like it's, awesome. That is just ridiculously unheard of, unprecedented, like awesome, incredible, ne never happened before. And uh, <clears throat> it's not based on anything new. It is, but it's not. It's just expressed in a different way because back in the day, way, way, way back, um, Robert and Marlene, in the beginning, when Naples was intimate and small, which, you know, you go, oh, that was five years ago, 10, 20, 30, 40. It was, you know, like when they originally, um, they, so they're both, you know, both raised in Italian families. Italian neighborhoods and the Italian culture always was and it is all about when you have a guest in your home, you're serving them. You know, like they are your your food, alcohol, whatever they want, you are my guest, this is all yours, whatever you want. And as you know, whatever way Robert was, because Robert was, you know, he stood behind the chair and he cut, and he said, get me Tylenol, get me vodka, get me <laughs> you know, whatever way he was, because he was working then, but when you, you were at his home, it was, what can I get you, what can I serve you, do you want, you know, he was making his big pasta dishes, and his lobster, and his, his uh, <clears throat> gumbo, and, you know, all the many amazing meals he would make. Um, but it was serving, and, and, th and that carried over into the, into the salon, that's how it was, it was about, taking care of people that way as in the Italian way. Like I, I would go to my, uh, when we lived in Philadelphia, like every other last name was Del Vecchio, Carini. Um, it was all, everybody had a vowel at the end of it. It was all Italian. <laughs> so, um, and, and you would go to somebody's house, you're playing football in the street or doing whatever you're doing. You go to somebody's house who you didn't really know you had never met their mother before, but you walk in their house, as soon as you walk in, the mother would say, 
you boys have to eat. Come on in and sit down. Have a meatball. It's like 11 o'clock. Have a meatball. Like they fed you no matter what. They stuffed your face. You had to eat. It was just the way. So um, that was what carried into the um, into the business was the same way. And what they used to do was they would have three or four, not 54, charity events in Naples End. It was like the Heart Ball and the Angel Ball. It was like three of them. I don't know what the other one was. And what they would uh, do was rather than do uh, haircuts or things at the salon, he would they would auction off a dinner at, at Robert and Marlene's house uh, of a particular meal, you know, like of their choice, or he would you know pick whatever it was lobster, fish, you know, fresh caught fish or whatever he, he had, and they would have a dinner party. So, you know, they, they would auction off for three or four thousand dollars for a dinner at his house, you know, which at the time was a really big deal. Now they probably pay twenty five. Then you know that's what it was, and they would have this big party, and um, and now, so what hasn't changed? You know, so it's all that like we didn't change who we were. Like we've been the same, but over the last ten years, as as things have changed in the area and it's grown, and people don't know who we are. There's a lot of people who don't know who we are. They don't know us. Look, I never heard of you before. You're like I'm. I'm just, really surprised at the number of people who have it, who don't. There are many people who do, but there are a lot of people who don't. And, you know, in Naples, then, everybody, you know, there was obviously being much smaller and not being as many salons and businesses and people, uh, you know, just knew, like, there was only a couple, and there was only the Naples Daily News, which, that was it. That was the only source of everything. And, um, and there was one called The Star, I think, and that was like the gossip page of Naples. There was mom, my, my mother Marlene was the, she had all, the, she was, she knew all the gossip on everybody because she'd hear it all day long because she knew everybody and uh, so she would hear them bitch about that one after they left and then them bitch about that one after they left and then, um, and then she would, you know, pass it on. So, um, and the Naples, so, 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 so no, so not knowing and now knowing and, and like, We've done this not tactically, but the, the things that we're doing now, the things that are happening now, are just a different version of it from back then. You know, instead of doing the dinner at the Heart Ball, um, you know, maybe Linda making a kale uh, soup, uh, we could have everybody over for that in the in the salon. Or one of Linda's specialties, or who else is a cook in here? I don't know. Who else is the specialty? Tara, yeah, okay. Instead of doing the cooking uh, things. <laughs> Um, it, it's now like one on one, like one person at a time will come, you know, like, like if it's an act of kindness or a golden ticket or whatever it is, take care of those people individually. And, and that, because the hearts, like we've never said no to anyone. It's always been yes, 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 what do you want? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, could we donate to this or could we donate to that? Because now there's hundreds of organizations. So the generosity and the heart and the, um, the love for humanity has always been the same, and it's why you're all here. It's why you know the same. It's the core culture of our who we are, and who you are, and why you're why you do what you do for so long. Um, so that so not as a tactic, not doing those things like oh we have to do that to get people. It's a byproduct of it. people are coming because of that. Like oh you care. Oh you really give a damn. Um, so it's just proof of the process working so um, and, and not intentionally not like oh we're doing that to get this because we really were flat really flat for a long time like not much movement like not much happening like not you know just and and during a high growth time like you know the last 10 years stuff's been good so um, the last six months is just a you know just a marker from the point to say yeah this moment this thing and and sometimes in the summer it's hard to see like yesterday a client walked into the village and said oh you know how's it how's the summer going and, and a couple of people up front said well you know, it's, it's okay it's okay like it, with no basis of reality like they don't know they have no idea how the summer's going statistically but because either there was a hole in the book or somebody canceled or Diana had two cancellations on Monday and she just felt like she was the biggest loser in the world because she had gaps. 
and she just couldn't stop beating herself up about it. And you know, Diana's always you know busy, so you know, with no truth in it. Oh well, it's you know, so it's 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 working. And um, to have, but the other thing I wanted to make sure that people knew, because there are some random things that we're just testing out. We have no idea how they're going to work, if they're going to work, what the impact is. Like we did this one thing where, you know, some people, everybody's different. You all are very, very different in how you communicate with people. Some of you, uh, you know, phone, just phone, call me, that's it. Some of you text, text is good. Some of you uh, messenger. That's, I, that's how I talk to everybody about some of you. Snapchat, Snapchat's how I talk to everybody. You know, some of you, um, uh, email, just email me. You know, like that's my thing. Everybody's a different way, and, and they have this, uh, and, and some people don't like to call at all. You know, they don't want to talk to people, especially doing business with people. Like, I don't want to have to explain how I want no onions on that when I place the order, and I want the bread toasted, and I'm a pain in the ass when I place an order because no croutons and dressing on the side and all that. I'd rather just type it into the thing and hope that I, they don't screw it up rather than talk to somebody on the phone. So um, we put this little, uh, it's, it's called a bot, it's a messenger bot. It's the messenger button for Facebook on our website. So the people who like to communicate that way can just say, hey, can I get a haircut Tuesday? without having to call, without having to, it's just a test thing. And I want to see how many people see it. And so we, we put a thing on there that says, today is your lucky day. You, uh, uh, all your hair services are free. Because I had it on there for a couple days and nobody did anything. I put that on there. And you know, we got one, then two, then three, because people were like responding. A couple of them knew. Then all of a sudden we got, somehow the word spread to people who <coughs> appointments. They were like, oh really, I'm coming in Saturday. It's my appointment free, Saturday. So, we had these other, uh, and, and we had to, yeah, I mean, it had to be because we said it. So we, we, we we're doing that. So if it shows up as free, it's, it's free. Like it's not because you did anything wrong. We're just experimenting with different formats of communication to see how we can reach people because it's different now. Everybody's different. So if you see that and that occurs, maybe there was nothing wrong. Maybe it's just a thank you. You know, like we don't know because we don't know how it came. There's different sources of things happening. Because I have had some pushback from people where there's, I don't know what it is, like it's almost like, um, you know, maybe it's on a redo, or maybe it's on a, an incident that happened where there's this sort of, well, you, that shouldn't have been free, like that, this question about why was that, why did you do that? Like, are you doubting my work? Like, I did a great job. And, and there's no question about that. Like, because I've actually had people say, no, don't do that. Don't comp her. She's a pain in the ass. She always does that. Um, or it was, I gave her what she wanted. Um, or that's going to affect my numbers. I don't know where that came from because it doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't affect, doesn't come out of there in any other way. It doesn't affect any number. It still goes in as it says. In fact, it goes in as a sale that day, and if they come back and have the same thing redone in a week, it goes in as a sale again, so it counts twice. It goes positive for no, so it doesn't take away from anyone. Um, but there's sometimes that question of, well, why did that happen? Well, well, why not? Like, what did it cost? You know, you may love it, <coughs> but she didn't, and you know, she doesn't. And it, you know, and that might be what it, what it is. So it's not it's not questioning anybody's work. It's not are you in the right? Are you in the wrong? Like the, the, you know, the, we had a woman last week who came in and literally was in the salon for minutes. Like what? I don't know the exact number. They said five. It was probably longer than that. This one, she was a new client, and apparently, like the the first experience didn't go great. Like, I don't know, I think the computer was down at the, in the moment, so there was kind of chaos around that probably. It wasn't here. Um, and she left the new client. She walked out from the map. To see, you know. And everybody there was like, well, she only waited five minutes. You know, like, it's not our fault. Like, everybody was kind of defensive about it. Like, but we did what we could, and, and that wasn't the point. She walked out, she was mad, um, and they, they, they let me know and we called her on, on the way, like or wherever she was. 
it turns out that she had researched us from Tampa, in Florida, salons in Tampa, and ours kept coming up, coming back to her, and she ended up making an appointment. So she was looking forward to this, drove here from Tampa. So it wasn't a five minute wait, it was a three hour and five minute, you know, like it was whatever it was. But even though, you know, people are, we're late, we run late, that happens, but the, her time, whatever happened in that, you know, maybe she got the clipboard treatment. Maybe she had the doctor office treatment, and she didn't read that it was like that. And some of the reviews say, man, they just treat me like royalty. I mean, the last few that have come in have been off the charts. Like the, the, review, uh, the latest reviews that have come in have been glowing, fabulous, incredible. Not just the standard. They have been like, they treat you like royalty. They love you. They care for you. They, and so people read that, and they are ready for that. And maybe, she didn't, maybe that didn't happen. So um, what she said, she had to vent because she was pissed, really pissed. And sometimes the solution is, oh, well, just offer her something, you know, like cut to the chase. But she don't want shit. She wants to get it out. She's mad. And she had to get it all out once she got it all out. And 